Hello, how you doing? This is Vince Hughes with Still Estimating Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you the true power of the Still Erection Bid Wizard when it's put in conjunction with the on-screen takeoff program, such as on-screen takeoff. Uh, it's going to be a simple 120,000 square foot warehouse. It really doesn't matter the complexity of the project. It's going to be the same, same process as far as the takeoff goes. So what I'm going to show you in this video is from start to finish. Uh, how I set up the plans to doing the takeoff to import it into the steel erection bid wizard uh, just going through that whole process to where you get your price there at the end so basically the first thing I'm going to do inside the program is uh, check the scale on every page that I'm going to do a takeoff on to verify that it's correct and once I verify that it's correct I'm going to highlight it in green which is uh, something I had set up because there's one project where I did a takeoff on it got the job went out and did it and I lost money because I had the scale incorrect and from that point over, never happened. From that point, it never happened to me again. I came up with a process of how I'm going to flag the plans that I know that I have to take off done, which is highlighting the dimension in green. Green means go. Hence, you know the, the drawing is ready to go, and I know that I have the scale correct on the plans. So after you set up the scale, check the scale on all the takeoff, the plans you're doing a takeoff on, you're going to set up your detail sheets. Real simple process. Just a matter of, you know, setting up all the details, going to every page, and do the process of setting it up, which is going to, you know, show up in the second view window for your details. I'll show you that in a little bit further into the video. And then once you get that done, it's ready, you know, you're ready to start doing the takeoff. <clears throat> So basically, you're gonna you know verify you know take a look at all the the project, see that all the bays are you know typical as far as bay widths goes, and then you're just gonna run through there. You're gonna do one bay. You're gonna count that bay of the bar joist, provided you know that the other ones are all the same. You're gonna just take it and you're gonna copy that bay after you you know just do the count in one bay. As long as the bays are the same, same length, and the joist spacing is the same. You're going to come in, you copy it, you take it to the next bay and you paste it. Now, of course, on this one, there was a few joists that were uh, a different dimension as far as spacing goes. So I had to do a little extra work. But now I can take and copy that whole bay and start pasting it into the other bays. And you can see how that really gets to speed up the process because I'm just doing a takeoff in one bay and then I'm going to paste it in all the other identical bays. And there you're going to see me get down a little bit farther here, and these bays right here are a different length. And of course, the joists are longer or shorter in this bay, so I'm going to have to uh, do another quick takeoff in that bay, and then I'll copy and paste it in the other like bay. So you can see where that process of doing this just saves so much time. We're not clicking every single joist, we're just doing a bay, copy it, paste it in the next bay. And so now we're going to come back to the, the first page we're taking, doing a takeoff. We're going to go count or count the columns, girders, and kickers, the little kickers that go from the joist to the joist girder on that one column line. So I'll run through that real quick on that one column line. Do that takeoff. And then I'm going to uh, copy that takeoff and I'm going to go uh, paste it on other like column lines. So once again, doing a takeoff that's relatively quick. And then you go paste it on all the other typical column lines. Now you probably see this looks, you know, I'm going pretty fast. And what the deal is, you probably already figured it out, but I speeded up this video. I'm, I'm fast, but I'm not this fast as far as my takeoff goes. But I speed up the video to make this video short as possible. Uh, it actually took me a, one hour to do the complete takeoff for doing the takeoff. And... Uh, getting the price schedule values and schedule built so about it was right at one hour to for the complete process for this hundred twenty thousand square foot building so now i'm just running through i'm counting all the other columns that i didn't you know pick up because they're not typical so i'm just running through and i'm counting those and then i'll run through and i'll count all the beams and once i've got all the beams counted and the columns counted then i'm going to go through and uh I'll run through and I grab these roof openings real quick. And 
And then once I've got my counts done, then, then I'll take off and I'll start doing looking at the details. And this is where the second view window comes up for my detail sheets. And the idea is, you see that little view window right now, but if you're doing a takeoff, you'd have two screens set up, one on your left, one on your right, one's for your main plans and one for your detail plans. That way you're just looking left to right. Simplifies the process, but for this video, I had to put it inside the, you know, the main takeoff sheet so you can see me looking at the details. And so basically you just go to that detail, whatever's at that detail, you do the takeoff real quick. And then when you're done with that takeoff on that detail, you highlight the detail in yellow and now you know it's, uh, you know, it's taken off. And then simply go to the next detail, just like you do on a hard set of plans, but in digital, much quicker fashion. Now you see me looking right now, there's a detail there I can't find on the sheet and I'm scanning through there. And you'll see what I do with that detail is I highlight it in red. Of course, it's not showing. There's a detail, but it's not on the detail sheet. So I just flag it red so I can, you know, go back, look into it, ask questions, whatever I got to do. And so then I'm just going to run around the process and the project. Uh, go to every detail, do the takeoff. Real simple, real simple process. Just like I say, it's like on a hard set of plans. But being digital, it's just so much quicker. I love it because if it's not colored, it's not counted. And it's just a way, real simple way to check, check your work. Uh, taking off print angles, you know, happens matters of seconds. Just left click on the corner, drag down, and you got your print angle taken off. I would say one of the hardest things, you know, people have going to go to the digital process is whenever you buy a program, on-screen takeoff, plan, swift, blue beam, whatever it may be, you get that program and it has no conditions, no tasks. So you actually have to sit there and create all those tasks, which is probably the hardest part of going digital is taking the time to create, you know, right now I have 300 tasks built inside of the Still Direction Bid Wizard. It takes, you know, quite a bit of time to build those. And what I do with, when you purchase a Still Direction Bid Wizard, whatever program you decide to go with, you, uh, I give you the plugin that has all the conditions built for you. My program, Still Rex and Bid Wizard, integrates with four programs uh, Plan Swift, Blue Beam, On Screen Takeoff, and Fab Suite. Now, my preference for, for Takeoff is On Screen Takeoff. I'm actually a reseller of On Screen Takeoff. Uh, so, if you're liking what you see, reach out to me. I would love to sell you a copy of On Screen Takeoff. It truly makes the difference uh, as far as speeding up your takeoffs. Uh, And you just, you know, you just run through, do your takeoffs just like you do on a hard set of plans. And you'll see the, the time savings is, is substantial. Taking off decking, it doesn't matter, you know, the shape of the building. Of course, this is just a box. It's a quick takeoff, but some projects are all, you know, funky shaped. Just to get that square footage is just real simple because you just outline the building and, and you got your takeoff. You see there, I forgot to do the angle on that page. It popped back to me, and it's like, oh, I forgot angle. So I jumped back to it, did the angle, did it matter one second all the way around the building. Uh, just And a lot of people have a challenge when they go digital because, you know, they're having to pan around and not seeing the whole thing like they do on a hard set, not seeing the whole plan like they do on a hard set of drawings. Once you overcome that, typically I tell people they want to get the largest uh, computer monitor they can. I would say 32 inch, 27 to 32 inch is what you really want. If you go with a 32 inch, you're going to be looking at plan just like you do on a hard set of plans. So that kind of helps with the issue of not being able to see the whole plan. But I know that was my biggest challenge when I went from, you know, doing hard sets of, uh, you know, doing takeoff on hard plans to going digital. You know, it was weird for me doing the panning around. But then when I got the big screen, you know, that, that problem went away. You know, it's kind of funny. I went with on-screen takeoff in 2002. And uh, I was out in the field for, what, 17, 18 years. And my father brought me into the office and started showing me the estimating, taught me old school. And after about two years, three years, I told him, man, Dad, there's got to be a better way. And went out and started uh, researching for, uh, you know, takeoff programs. 
came across on screen takeoff started using it you know my dad kind of chuckled at me and said oh come on just you know just get on there and do the takeoff what are you wasting your time messing around with this stuff for and it was like no nah, you know there's there's got to be a better way so it took me about a year to refine it uh, set up my process with the steel erection bid wizard and you know get past the learning curve inside of on screen takeoff and it was funny as time went on you know as and he started seeing the benefit of it you know every time somebody would come in the office he'd bring them into into my office to show him my setup and you know he was real proud of it in the beginning he didn't like it but once he seen it and how it was set up and the time savings it brought to our business you know he he was all on board you know we would do eight to fifteen million dollars a year annually in sales labor only and i was the only estimator and you can see you know how once you get this thing down how quick you can actually do a takeoff uh, right now we're you know counting the in walls the uh, brace frames and girders and there's some sag rods here uh, just run through it you know doing a doing a quick count and right here you can see where it's typical bay so i stop and now i'm just going to take off one bay i'm going to copy it paste in those other three bays and it just you know speeds up the process And, you know, there was times, you know, for many years, too, I would just sit there and I'd look at a set of drawings and, you know, I could look at it because I had, you know, years of experience and I would say, you know, it's going to be this much a square foot. Uh, and, you know, I'd be pretty dead nuts. But the reality, I went to the process of doing a detailed takeoff on every job because it gives me all the data. I know exactly how much I have in for every single, you know, item in the in the projects. It's not just a lump sum square foot. Just, just not me looking at the project, taking a guess on how long it's going to take and throwing a number at it. You know, it, it seemed in the beginning it was like a little bit more work. But the reality, once I got into it, started doing a detailed takeoff, it takes the process all the way down the line so much, uh, you know, it streamlines it because now everything is complete. And I have an answer for everything that's in the bid. And if I miss something... You know, I'm literally, I'm building this job on the plans right here, doing this detailed takeoff. And so I'm building it now. And then when we get the job, we go out there and build it, of course, in the field. And on this project here, you can see that there's uh, there was there's three different areas. There's an area A, area B, area C. And here in a minute, I'm going to set up the areas, which we're doing right now. Real simple process. You just name the area. Area A, highlight or right click and then you assign it to area, go to the next area, type in area B, highlight the area, assign it to area, same thing with area C. Real simple process, now I have every area broken out. So when I do it, bring it in the bid wizard, it's broken out by area, the schedule's broken out by area. Uh, we're gonna have an in walls broken out, you know, by, in, by the in walls. So we're gonna have a different price for every area as well as a schedule so we'll process now we're just exporting the takeoff out of on-screen takeoff and then we come to the bid wizard click on new bid go down and we have to set up the areas inside of the bid wizard before we do the import and you see that real simple how to do that too we come in hit import select on-screen takeoff go to the file click import and it's going to import those tasks, tell you you did it. And now you're going to see that all the tasks are brought in. You start seeing the numbers populated at the top. We've got to enter our square footage of the project, adjust our crew size. We'll come in and throw in our equipment we need for the project. And of course, all these are defaulted that you set up inside the Steel Erection Bid Wizard at our crane. Just our uh, massage the bid, just the profit and overhead, you know, kind of mess around with the bid, get the numbers where we like to see them. And inside the bid wizard, you can set up different wage rates for different states. So it's a simple drop down pick. You can pick, you know, whatever state you might be working in. That wage rate changes accordingly to that state. Now we're going to set up the schedule. Schedule is a real simple process basically hit next step 
and now you have your schedule built now you can adjust those uh those tasks you know for where you need them at for that project real simple process just coming in and selecting the date you want to start that task on each uh area then you, you save it and you come back and uh <clears throat> we got the task summary sheet that shows you the whole detail of the project and then you have a schedule of values which is going to show you how much you got to set beams how much to set columns how much to do angle all the way down the line now we're going to generate a bid proposal form which is another nice feature basically you can get uh, all your proposals generated up to 10 general contractors at, at one time you just select them out of the database in the steel direction bid wizard and click you go through that little quick process and it's going to generate all those proposals for each uh general contractor and basically this you know this comes to the conclusion of what i got to show here i hope you see the value and see the speed that you can get with the steel erection bid wizard and would love to work with you uh, you can learn more over at the, my website stillestimatingsolutions.com i uh, hope to be talking to you soon have a great day